So I'm just going to kind of dive right into this one. It's going to be a brief update for the fans of Metal Gear Solid 5 that are subscribed to this channel. There are no plans for DLC to drive the story forward at all for Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. And to be honest with you guys, I have not beat the game yet. I've gotten to the second chapter and I'm starting to see some recycled content, which is pretty disheartening and it will be affecting my review. I do plan on getting that review out still. I'm not going to like drop the ball on you guys and not do it. It is coming, but I've been very busy with a lot of things on the channel that I've got planned and work. Unfortunately, I do have to hold down a job. This isn't uh, this isn't a full-time gig for me on the channel yet. Anyways, I hope that someday it will be. But Konami has come out and stated that they will be releasing DLC in the form of outfits for Snake and you know stuff for like D Horse and D Dog and just like cosmetic crap that nobody really cares about. It's kind of like microtransactions sort of shit that uh, you know I'm I'm not really interested in that. I want to see something story driven, but obviously Hideo Kojima is no longer there. And there are people saying that you know they they cut apart the uh, the final act. There was supposed to be more to the game. There's supposed to be a third chapter, and evidently the second act has also been torn apart. And it's uh it's been kind of one of those things that's left people unsatisfied. And as I stated, I have not gotten there yet. Please do not post any spoilers in the comments section. I will be deleting them, and yeah, it'll be rather upsetting to see anything like that. I have not gotten to that point yet. I believe I just got to mission 32. But yeah, at any rate, I've heard people complain about this story big time. So I haven't seen the ending. I know that, uh, yeah, it's just been kind of butchered. And people were hoping that we would be getting the third chapter as DLC. It does not look like that's going to happen. Evidently, there are storyboards out there that show some of the stuff that was supposed to be in Chapter 3. I, I you know, it, it looks to me like the whole falling out between Kojima and Konami definitely affected the, the later half of this game. And that's really sad, and it, it definitely sucks, because this is supposed to be like the farewell product for, from Kojima. Obviously, Konami is going to continue to drive the series forward. Where that's going to be without Kojima, I don't know, because as far as I'm concerned, he is Metal Gear Solid. It's going to be really hard for them to do anything <laughs> without him. Who knows, they might make one of those pachinko machines or something, I don't know. I've heard that they plan on dropping AAA gaming altogether and going after more of a mobile market and casual stuff like that, which is just really sad because I've been a fan of Konami games going all the way back to the 80s with the original Metal Gear. Games like Contra and Castlevania, they just had amazing games. They always did. And then now all of a sudden it's starting to be like, yeah, we're not really into that anymore. I think personally, and I've said this before on the channel a few years back, that I think that AAA gaming is just getting way too big for its own good. There are games that sell a lot of copies and do very well. And they're considered failures because it's so expensive to make games now. And it's just become such a... A juggernaut that it's it's becoming an issue and I've said many times that I think indies are pretty much going to be in the safe zone this is where we're gonna start to see really good games because there's not a lot of risk there and people I think a lot of people want to go back to basics and, and things are just they're getting way too big and way out of control because it seems to me like they're not pushing things forward because it costs too much money for them so they're gonna try to like cash in on things that aren't as high of a risk I mean growing up Konami and Capcom were just like that's where I went for my games all the way through the Nintendo era and up I mean shit Konami like started with I think they made like cabinet games and then they came out with Frogger which was a huge success on the Atari back in the day and other it, it made its way to other platforms I believe but yeah, it's just, it's really sad to see these, you know, these companies just struggling because it's just the industry itself is, is changing so drastically. And they, let's, let's be honest here, they haven't done themselves any favors by, you know, arguing with, uh, well, I don't know what the hell happened with Kojima, but I, I think that was a big mistake. 
and the way things are going towards this mobile market, uh, it just seems really like dismal and terrible. <laughs> and, and it's kind of strange because this has been a great year for games. We got The Witcher 3, we got Metal Gear Solid 5, we've got uh, we've got Fallout 4 coming out, we've also got the new Star Wars Battlefront coming out. There's a lot of really great games that came out this year, but at the same time, we're, we're really starting to see just how big things have become and how much it's really uh, taking its toll. And I think we're going to see more of that from developers. There's... If, if games don't do really, really well, they're just... They don't want to take the risk. You know, you can be completely broken by one game that didn't sell too well. That really sucks. But at any rate, we I, I highly doubt we're ever going to see the true ending to Metal Gear Solid Five or any of the bits that were cut out. And that's really disheartening, man. That really, really sucks. But good news for the channel. I've noticed there's been an influx of new subscribers and views coming in mostly from my Metal Gear Solid tips and tricks videos that I've got out there. So I do appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, I ask that you please subscribe and be sure to rate this thumbs up. I will be continuing to cover things related to Metal Gear Solid. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play online until January because that's when the PC is going to be getting their online versus mode. So that really sucks, but I am going to be bringing that to this channel as well. So stay tuned. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.